All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy B Bold RC coming to you guys again with yet another. I love refrigerators. And I had planned to shoot some extra B-roll. You guys know I usually don't even fuck with Tuesdays, but I'm chilling here. It's been raining on and off. It's just been horrible weather, and the B-roll for the clothing haul just can't happen. So I figured, since I'm not fucking with the weather at all, and it's the weather is really not fucking with me today, I figured I'd do another story video because I've done a few in the past, and you guys seem to really like them. I mean, the Concord 11 story. I also have a story about how I got caught drunk in public, which is privated on the channel right now, but I might re-upload that in the future because I still thought that that was a funny video. It was a funny uh, story. So you might see that one pop back back up at some point if I decide to re-upload it. I mean, it's there, but it's so old that it might just be like super dead. The algorithm has already buried that video, so I might have to just re-upload it. But anyways, uh, I'm young. I'm, I'm still pretty young, but when I was young and dumb or younger and dumber, I mean, I always didn't have everything you guys see in the background. I always didn't have this, and I'm not saying I came up from like poverty. I came up from the mud. Like, no, it was... It, it was chill. My parents got me what they could get me, and I lived within their means while I could, and I didn't struggle. I had my Xbox, I had my computer, I had Xbox Live. I was, I was cool. I was a regular kid in middle school, high school. It was, it was whatever. But being a kid, we all know you make mistakes. Dumb kid mistakes and things you do that you know are wrong you shouldn't have done. So what I'm about to tell you is do not follow in my example with this story, okay? I'm not telling you to do this. Do not do this. And if you do this, well, just don't. I'm not being liable for none of that shit. No, sir. No, sir. And the story really starts with my cousin because back then, I want to say it maybe 10 years ago, whenever Ed Hardy was popping, I remember my cousin used to always have the craziest Ed Hardy jeans, the tees, like he just, he had it. The, if the Ed Hardy came out, he had it. And I'm family, so I knew it was like, how are you, how are you getting this shit? Like you're my age, how are you affording Ed Hardy? And it's funny because I'm talking about Ed Hardy and some of the people that are watching this right now don't even remember that. But still, younger and dumber, I'm like, how are you getting this shit? And let's just say it, it was a jug. It was a jug, it was a jug move. You know, you do certain things, I'm not gonna explain the methods, just know it was a jug move, and when the Ed Hardy came out, when the new Ed Hardy came out, he had it. It just, it is what it is. It was what it was. So, like, I kind of saw that and was like, and I don't want to place blame on him because it's not his fault to start fucking starting to kind of steal shit, but, you know, I started testing that out. I was like, okay, if he's getting this, what can I get? What, what can I realistically get? So, I started off small, small time, like most people do, 7-Elevens. Sit goes. I don't have Quick Trip, but I'm in Atlanta enough to say. I mean, you got QT, uh, Wawa, but mostly it was 7 Eleven and I think it was a Sit Go or a Sunoco or something that was by my school after school. So, what you would do is you would walk in and you're a younger kid, so you might have 20, 40 bucks on you, possibly. Let's just say you got 20 on you and you're like, okay, I want to, of course, pick up the Arizona, maybe the, the green tea joint, maybe the sweet tea and lemonade mix, you know. Fruit punches, eh, it was okay. Even the sweet tea was eh, okay. But the lemon, the lemon tea was straight. But you don't want to spend a dollar on the Arizona and spend a dollar on gum and snacks. You were, I'm working on a limited budget here, bro. Like y'all not about to get me at the sit go. It's not happening. So you automatically think, all right, I'm gonna go ahead grab the Arizona, maybe grab the gum. But the snacks, I mean, I got the jacket on, so we, we gonna figure it out. So you walk in, you grab your Arizona, you bullshit, you throw some stuff in your pockets, and you just hope to God that you make it out, or the guy, the, whoever the clerk is, they don't stop you. Now don't do this, I'm not saying do this, but that's how it was. So then after that, I mean, I graduated to Five Below, and bruh, yo, Five Below, that shit was, it was so, so easy. And I'm not saying it's easy now. I have no clue. I haven't been in Five Below in a while. So I have to get like a charger cable or something. But I used to hit the Five Below right before we went to the mall. Like you always stop at Five Below, you grab some snacks real quick, and you keep it moving. I mean, it was, the security was real lax. It, there was no security. You just walk in there, you grab your shit, and you go. Don't do that. Remember, don't do what I'm telling you. But one day, I was with my cousin, and all that luck that I had it slowly 
slowly ran out. So, you know, when you're younger, you like to go out to the mall on Saturdays or whatever. I, I was a, a young kid. I was a little out there at the mall, just bullshitting around, meeting my friends, or just going around and just being at the mall, because that was what to do. I can't go to the bar. I can't get in at the club at 14. Like, what am I supposed to do, sit at home and play Xbox? I Me, mean, fuck yeah, I did that some nights, but at other nights, I'm like, yo, I want to go out and go see a movie or, or bullshit or something. Fuck am I do, go bowling? Like, Bowling's not bad, I would do that. I was trying to think of a joke, but bowling was the first thing that came to mind, sorry, if you fuck with bowling, but yeah. Fuck am I gonna do, go bowling? So me and my cousin go to the mall, and it's crazy because I remember it pretty, pretty vividly because I had on this Sean John flight jacket that I got from Macy's. Um, I didn't pay for it, of course my cousin, or my parents paid for it, but I had this Sean John embroidered down flight jacket, it has some nice, some nice airiness to it, it has some space in it, so if I need to, you know, if I wanna grab some shit and put it in there, you know, I could use it for those purposes. So once again, me and my cousin, we're walking over to the mall because we were super close to it because of where we were at. We walk, we hit up Five Below. Just like any other regular Saturday, stop by Five Below, grab your snacks, and keep it moving. Then we go to the mall. We're walking around the mall, checking out, and we went to go, we were gonna try to jug some Ed Hardy. That's what we were gonna do. Um, the Ed Hardy was a little bit too rich for my blood. Ed Hardy was expensive, and I was kinda like, eh, you get caught with a t-shirt and some jeans, it could be a little bit more than you bargained for. So I wasn't really with the Ed Hardy jug, so we didn't leave with any Ed Hardy that day, trust me. So we're walking around, we're walking around, and there we see it, F-Y-E. Some of y'all may have never heard of it, just think of it as, uh, uh, you can get CDs, Albums, they had like comic book memorabilia, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Pokemon cards. Uh, man, it's like a mini, a mini Best Buy. It's really hard to explain it, but if you don't know what Fye is, just Google it after this. So there it is, Fye. And me and my cousin used to heavily be into like Family Guy as well as Chappelle Show, even though. We shouldn't have been watching Chappelle's show at that age, but Chappelle's show was popping. And we go on this FYE. And at that time, I was still fucking with Yu-Gi-Oh cards as well. And we go on this FYE, we walk around, we bullshit, you put the headphones on, you play a little tracks or whatever you can do. And we kind of came with this idea and we we were walking around bullshit and we just took too long. It was, it was a bad, we took too long to figure out what we were gonna grab. And we kind of talked to each other and we were like, okay, you get this, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get this as well and make sure you try to take all the, you know, the sensors off because this is an electronic store, so they got sensors in the cases. Sensors are everywhere, so you have to make sure that you, t uh, once again, don't do this, but we were trying to make sure that we took all the sensors off and we were clean, so when we walked out, it was a clean getaway, no sensors, no buzzes, no nothing. Yu-Gi-Oh cards were the shit still back then, and we were still trying to get the packs. I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh card packs were like 15 bucks, and I mean, I mean, I didn't have to go out like that to go ahead and just grab five Yu-Gi-Oh card decks. So I was like, fuck it, I'ma just, I'ma get mine however I get mine. And then Blam, we're in motion. He's grabbing his, I'm grabbing mine. I get the Chappelle Show DVDs of the seasons. I'm walking around and I'm, I'm like looking in the CDs, but I'm putting the cases down. I'm opening up, breaking off the, the barcodes or the little security uh, stickers and shit. Like, I'm really in there taking security stickers off of each DVD case. Blam, okay, Chappelle Show is secured put it in the sean john flight jacket it's a little puffy i had some weight on me i was a little chubby kid so i was like, okay it'll work it's all good next up Yu-Gi-Oh cards i grabbed three decks of Yu-Gi-Oh cards in the plastic seal so it was like a bigger case it was like you had the deck or it was like i think i grabbed three decks of Yu-Gi-Oh cards so you had like 150 Yu-Gi-Oh cards in the plastic so once again blam in the Sean John flight jacket, no problem. Then I rendezvous with my cousin. I'm like, are we are we good? Cause I got my shit, we've been in here kinda long. He's like, okay, let's do it. So, this is where it all goes wrong. We're like, cool and we're like, all right, cool. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and leave. So we're walking, we're walking, we're walking, and this is where, this is where it takes a turn for the worst. As soon as we hit those buzzers at the door, the alarms. The alarms just start ringing and ringing and ringing. And the one thing that you don't do, well, you don't do this, but in that situation that you don't do is you don't freeze. Don't freeze. I never freeze. And I froze. I froze up. We both froze up. And the way the mall was situated was that FYE was right next to the door. We could have just hawked out of here and just kept it moving, but we just froze. It was just like, as soon as the, the alarms went off, we just, Fuck, like we were always kind of like, ah, oh, 
they got us, but they hadn't gotten us yet. We just froze up. So we stand there, the guy walks up and he's like, come with us. So as we're walking to the back so they can like see how much stuff we, we trying to steal and like get the amount or whatever. I discarded like all the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So I just took them and I was throwing them under the racks cause they were like up on CD racks. So there's nothing underneath of them. And I was just taking them out I was tossing when they weren't looking and I discarded of everything I could before we got to that back room. So then we get to the back and they ring us all up and just see how much we got left. And remember, we have been throwing evidence. Like we have been tossing evidence as we're walking to get our, our amount down, to get the bounty down on our heads right now. So by the time we get to the back, they just called our parents. They said it was like a misdemeanor. We didn't get charged with anything. They were just like, you are banned for six months from the mall. So we got banned from the mall for six months. Did we listen to that ban? No, we, we gave it a week and we went back like, fuck it. Like what, what, what are they gonna tell us? What, do they have our names up on a wall with a, a wanted poster? No, we were just kids. So we waited a week, let the heat cool down and we did eventually go back. But that doesn't end the story because once he got caught, we had to go back with my cousin's mom to her boyfriend's house. So once we get to her boyfriend's house, he weighs us options. For my cousin, it was an ass whooping or you can face the punishment. Punishment being no Xbox, not being able to go outside, not being able to go to a mall, bullshit like that. For me, it was either I can get an ass whooping and my dad never know, I just kinda, you know, sweep it under the rug and keep it moving, or I could not get the ass whooping and let my dad know and deal with the unknown. And the unknown is the father unit, my dad. It was like either I'm gonna get my ass whooped Or it might not be that bad. So with all that in mind, I thought about it. He gave us like five, 10 minutes to think about what our fate would be. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna pass on the guaranteed ass whooping and I'm gonna go to my dad. And I went to my dad or he called my dad. My dad came pick me up. We talked about it. And let me tell you, let me tell you, I was scared. I was super, super scared because I've gotten some some whoopings before, like some some shit, like some bad ones. And honestly, he let me off pretty easy. Like I only couldn't play the game for like a couple days and then he was just like, whatever, it was just a thing. So thanks dad for not <laughs> throwing me in the lake for that. You know what I'm saying? Like he could have really went in, but he didn't. He just was like, you know what? I guess in his mind he thought, is this the first time it's ever happened? He saw how serious it could be. I don't think he's gonna let this happen again and no, it hasn't happened since then. Nah, I haven't gotten caught stealing anywhere and I haven't stole anywhere either. And that was the story of how I got caught stealing and got banned from the mall for six months. Listen, if you are a young, young viewer, don't steal, just wait. You'll have all the time in your life to work and make money. Uh, stealing some shit, it, it doesn't help you in the long run, especially if you get caught. It could have been way worse for us, but it wasn't. And um, thankfully, you know, I learned from it and I never got caught stealing again. And now I do this shit and now I don't have to steal because they send this shit to me for free. That was a humble flex, I'm not gonna lie. But it was a good ending to the story because the things that I used to try to steal and get for free, now I have the opportunity and I worked that those things now come to me for free. So yeah, yeah, good story. So yeah, young and dumb criminal turned into YouTuber. I think I'm doing all right. So that is going to be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the little story. It would have been quicker, but I had to kind of like tell you guys every aspect of it and why this happened and what was going on. I mean, it was 10 years ago and I just hope you guys enjoyed it. So much love to all the fam, followers, and of course supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snapchat. The Snapchat is bull.cb, by the way, here, there, buzz about it, of course, bull.rc. And I will see y'all in the next video. Remember kids, don't steal, don't get caught, just don't steal. <laughs>